Waiting on Seeking Paradise. Now walking in. Stand by for the ladies' turf. They're off. Bowley broke a bit slow and dropped back to last just after the break. Zipessa is getting out to flash her customary speed, and Zipessa is out to take the lead and set the pace. Miss Temple City is in the race, but backs off, sitting in second. Linda comes up from the inside with Susie B, racing a joint third. Susie B just a little bit headstrong here as they run up the hill toward the outside, seeking paradise. And Bowley is patient at the back, gives them about six or seven lengths of a head start. So at the top of the rise now, the pace is set by Zipessa. She's allowed to run her own race. No pressure. She's clear now by about two lengths as they come down for the dip. It's Zipessa out clear from Miss Temple City, placed close up in second. Linda to the inside third, and Susie B with the white blankers is there fourth and three and a half lengths off the lead. Two and a half back to Bowley, now out of last, and seeking paradise, the long shot trails seven lengths off the lead. Less than a half mile to go. Zipessa still shows the way. She blazes the trail, length and three quarters in front. But Miss Temple City coming on strongly. She's got a good hold of the bit. She looks loaded, sitting right there in second. Then Susie B and Linda, a pair of grays. Two and a half back to Seeking Paradise. And Bowley tries to stoke it up from the inside. At the top of the stretch now, Zipessa picks up the pace and she goes on for home. But here's an immediate attack by Miss Temple City. Linda's got the inside. Then Susie B and Bowley in deep stretch. Zip Pessa now fully extended to hold off Miss Temple City. And the whip coming out here from Edgar Prado just a tap there on Miss Temple City. And she comes to the front. And the decorated grade one winner's got the lead from Zip Pessa. Zip Pessa stretching her. But Miss Temple City, her class prevails. And she wins the Kentucky Downs Ladies Turf. Heck of a run from Zip Pessa. Then Linda, Bowley, Susie B, and Seeking Paradise. The unofficial results of race seven, the winner was number five, Miss Temple City. Second, number four, Zipessa. Third, number two, Linda. And fourth, number one, Bowley. The result is not official. That's five, four, two, and one. That race time for a mile, one minute, 36, and 91, one hundredths.
And now, entering the winner's circle is the unofficial winner of today's great three, $350,000 Kentucky Downs Ladies Turf. Number five, Miss Temple City. She is a five-year-old dark bay or brown mare, collecting her seventh win, pushing her lifetime earnings over $1.5 million. She's a five-year-old dark bay or brown mare by Temple City from Glittering Tax by r -Tax, bred in Kentucky by Bob Feld Bloodstock. She's owned by The Club Racing, Needle in a Haystack, and Sagamore Farm. Winning trainer is Graham Motion, and the winning jockey, Edgar Prado. The result is official. Those prices will be coming up shortly. This 24th running of the Kentucky Downs Ladies Turf presented by the National Thoroughbred Racing Association and representing the NTRA, we're proud to have Jim Mulvihill with us in the winner's circle. That's Jim Mulvihill now making the presentation. That $1 exactto paid $5.90, the 50 cent trifecta $5.60. 10 cent superfectum paid $2.19. That one dollar double paid fifteen fifty, and the fifty cent pick three fifty three dollars and ninety cents. And the Kentucky Downs Ladies Turf goes to Miss Temple City as I trainer Graham Motion and jockey Edgar Prado talking over uh, the proceedings there. Graham, we'll start with you. First, your decision to bring her to Kentucky Downs for this race, obviously trying to get her back on track, and it certainly worked out well for you. Yeah, I mean, we've thrown a lot at her this year with going to Ascot right off the bat, and uh, we just wanted to get her in, a, a, a more relaxed environment and be a, a better spot, and I think uh, hopefully we accomplished that today. She was much more relaxed today. She got very nervous at Monmouth last time. And now moving forward from here, I mean, you ran in the Breeders' Cup uh, turf mile last year. Is that uh, the course again for 2017? I mean, we'll take one step at a time. She loves Keeneland. The goal was to get her here, and, and this would, would get her to the next step to Keeneland, which is a, a track that we know she loves. So we'll take one step at a time. We're very happy about today. Next step is to try to defend your title in the Shadwell turf mile against the boys. Maybe. <laughs> Congratulations, Grant. Thank you. All right, let's talk to Edgar Prado. Edgar had her in a perfect position throughout. It looked to me like you had the leader measured, like you were going to go by her anytime you wanted to. But she dug in, and it didn't make it easy for you. Yes, the main thing is she was pretty relaxed today, you know, and she was waiting for me to tell him what to do. I tried to wait as much as I could because it's a very long stretch. And when she go by the winner, she thought I was, uh, I mean, the horse in front, she thought it was all over, so she kind of slowed down a little bit. But she's a nice feeling. I'm glad that she's back to her, her soul form. Yeah, you know her very, very well, obviously. And do you feel like she's getting back to the A-plus game we've seen from her in the past? Well, I like the way she she run today and the way she got up out. And I think she, she's pretty much uh, put it all herself together. Congratulations and best of luck with one of your favorite horses uh, this time uh, moving forward the rest of the year. Thank you. Edgar Prado, Grand Motion. They take down the Kentucky Downs Ladies Turf with... Miss Temple City. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> next up, we've got the next race for the kids out on the track with the bouncy balls. And here's guest announcer, Trevor Denman. Thank you, John. They just about set for this next one out here. They already look at those kids out there. They set to go. They'll be off any second out here. 